icon. Hi guys, thank you for watching. So we are celebrating a recent approval for the Australia standard for the IP740D. So today I'd like to show the key feature and focus to the dual and bridge mode function for the, our new hybrid IP transceiver. Let's take a look. This is the IP740D. IP740D has a two PTT button on the side panel. One is the main PTT and one is the sub PTT function. You can operate the two transmit type using those PTT function when the dueling mode. You can see the 1.5 watt big internal speaker and same key layout. This is our latest LT product. Here is a 40 pin much professional connector and also IP740D has a high capacity battery that's a BP303 and IP740D can install the two SIM card in the inside slot. This is a key feature for the IP740D. 400 to 520 MHz wide frequency coverage, just one version and LT plus IDES or LT plus analog. Of course, we are available UHF CB. And LT band, of course, are available band 28 and IDES type D conventional and simulcast and analog mode, but only support the CTCSS and DTCS signaling. And voice recording and GPS, also additional Bluetooth function. IP740D has a LT mode, IDAS mode, dual mode, and bridge repeater mode. This is dual mode operation for the IP740D. IP740D works LT to IDAS or LT to analog mode. The dual mode, you need to set the LT mode main band or sub band. The IP740D has a two PTT button in the side panel. So this time I configure IP740D uh, LT and IDAS dual mode operation. When I press the main PTT, so LT connect to LT mode. And when I press the sub PTT, this is connect to the IDAS mode. So I press the 503H PTT. So IP740D detects IP LT mode. And when I press the IDAS, of course IP740D detects the IDAS mode. When I press the PTT and sub PTT button at the same time, IP740D transmit to broadcast so each transmission type at the same time. Next function is the bridge mode on the IP740D. This is a unique function for the, our Rando Mobile product recently. The IP740D can set this operation to relay to another transmission mode. One IP740D set up the bridge mode. IP740D set the bridge mode function. So this is the ICF4400 IDAS and the IP503H LT transceiver. So when I press the PTT of the IP503H, IP740D automatically relay to the IDAS. When I press the PTT of the IDAS, also IP740D automatically relay to the LT transceiver. So when IP740D working as bridge mode, you can see the yellow LED here, so that is working the bridge mode function. So I have set up the two IP740D as a bridge mode and two IDAS ICF4400 side by side. You can use the IDAS radio on your hand and IP740D relay to the LT network to connect to another IP740D. This IP740D is automatically relayed to the IDAS radio. 
Let's take a look at the bridge mode function. When I press the IDAS PTT, IP740D automatically relate to the uh, LT and the IDAS transmission mode. If you need extend IDAS coverage using different frequency, different channel, the IP740D bridge mode will provide support for you. However, this is a temporary use design not a fixed repeater operation. While in the bridge mode, IP740D continue transmitting, automatically set the low power mode to save the battery life and prevent overheating of the PA circuit. Bridge mode cannot release analog mode. This is only supporting the IDAS and LT mode. This is a new accessory for the IP740D that is HM245D. PTT and sub PTT function supported. 40 pin multi connector, DTMF keypad, and powerful audio output, internal speaker, emergency button, and earphone jack available. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, please contact us. Thank you.